step back into 1976 with a TV miniseries that had a significant impact on the industry. Helter Skelter promises a roller coaster of emotions with its funny, shocking, and sometimes heartbreaking facts. Curious about lesser known anecdotes? Keep watching because there's plenty in store. What makes this mini series a lasting symbol in the industry? The answer lies in its ability to captivate, leaving an everlasting impression on viewers. But we want to know your thoughts. What qualities do you believe make it stand the test of time? Before you dive into the comments section, ponder this, what's your most fond memory or personal experience with the show? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections. Share your thoughts below and let's keep the conversation alive. Stay tuned for more insights and stories, some funny, some shocking, and some sad about Helter Skelter. It's a journey worth taking. Keep watching and don't forget to share your own tales. In 1976, a television miniseries titled Helter Skelter brought to life the harrowing events surrounding the Tate Labianca murders orchestrated by Charles Manson. The show, based on Vincent Bugliosi's book, delves into one of the most significant criminal cases in history, perhaps only rivaled by the later O.J. Simpson trial. The narrative unfolds with a sense of historical urgency, capturing the chilling charisma of the central figure portrayed convincingly by Steve Railsback. The Manson family, including notable members like Patricia Krenwinkel, Leslie Van Houten, and others, became infamous symbols of a dark chapter in American culture. The series depicts him as a manipulative figure, akin to a latter-day Hitler, luring disillusioned youths into his orbit and coercing them into committing heinous acts. The production, though primitive in its values, has stood the test of time. Even today, it provides a gritty yet innocent perspective, evoking the shock and disbelief that permeated society at the time. The portrayal of Bugliosi by George Dysonzo adds depth to the narrative, showcasing a young D, a grappling with the intricacies of the twisted case. As viewers revisit the series, it continues to hold attention both then and now. Despite its simplicity in production, the show effectively communicates the magnitude of the events and the lasting fascination with this dark chapter in American criminal history. Recently, as I revisited it with my daughter, it became clear that the narrative still holds a powerful grip on the imagination, transcending its era. There have been subsequent remakes with different perspectives, but the 1976 rendition remains a compelling and historically significant portrayal of the Manson family saga. The parole hearings for some members of the family, such as Leslie Van Houten, Susan Atkins, Tex Watson, and Patricia Krenwinkel, continue to punctuate the lasting effects of these crimes on society. In summary, the show remains a riveting exploration of a disturbing chapter in American history, offering a glimpse into the manipulation, violence, and cultural shock that defined the Manson family saga. It serves as a stark reminder of how charismatic figures can lead vulnerable individuals down dark and destructive paths. Steve Railsback's convincing portrayal of Charles Manson in the 1976 TV miniseries received widespread praise, leading big movie studios to offer him many roles as bad guys. However, he turned down most offers because he was afraid of always playing similar roles. This includes saying no to playing Joshua in Lethal Weapon, a role that eventually went to Gary Busey. Interestingly, Martin Scorsese was initially thought of for the part of Charles Manson in the series, showing how different casting choices could have changed the story. Fortunately, Steve Railsback's strong performance as Manson worked well for the series. The 1959 Ford Galaxy scene in the miniseries is historically important because it was the actual car used by the real Manson family during the infamous murders. Surprisingly, this car still exists and is displayed at police conventions, serving as a direct link to the chilling events shown in the series. Railsback's career decisions after Helter Skelter highlight the difficulties actors face in avoiding always playing the same kind of character, while the idea of Scorsese being considered for the role adds an interesting layer to the series' history. The inclusion of the real Manson family car provides a direct connection to the actual events, showing the series' commitment to being true to history. When looking back at Helter Skelter, one is reminded not only of the gripping story, but also of the far-reaching effects it had on the people involved. The series, with its careful casting choices and attention to historical details, continues to be a captivating exploration of a dark time in American history. The central figures in the Helter Skelter narrative Susan Atkins, Vincent Bugliosi, and Charles Manson have all passed away. Atkins died in 2009, Bugliosi in 2015, and Manson in 2017. 
Adding to this list, actor George Dysonzo, who portrayed Bugliosi, passed away on August 9, 2010, coincidentally 41 years after the Tate murders. A notable aspect of the series is the authenticity of the courtroom scenes, where much of the dialogue is directly taken from the court transcripts. This careful approach adds a layer of realism to the portrayal of the Manson family trial, letting viewers witness the events as they unfolded in the courtroom. George Dysonzo's portrayal of Bugliosi not only marked his contribution to the show, but also became a defining role in his career. His passing on the anniversary of the Tate murders adds a poignant connection to the real-life events depicted in the TV movie. Steve Railsback's convincing depiction of Charles Manson led to him being typecast as villains in subsequent roles. His reluctance to be pigeonholed in similar characters, including turning down the role of Joshua in Lethal Weapon, sheds light on the challenges actors face post-iconic performances. Considering Martin Scorsese for the role of Manson brings an alternate casting perspective. Railsback's eventual selection, while not the initial expectation, worked well for the show, showcasing the influence of casting decisions on the narrative's success. Additionally, the presence of the 1959 Ford Galaxy, the actual car used by the Manson family during the infamous murders, serves as a chilling link to the historical events depicted. This car, still displayed at police conventions, stands as a tangible connection to the grim reality portrayed in the TV movie. As we revisit the series, it becomes evident that the inclusion of real historical elements like the Manson family car contributes to the authenticity and lasting impression of Helter Skelter. The show not only captures a dark chapter in American history, but also reflects on the lasting effects it had on those involved. In the 1976 TV miniseries, there's a crucial link to the Manson family's infamous acts involving their original car, a 1959 Ford Galaxy. Surprisingly, this car, now displayed at police conventions, serves as a chilling reminder of the grim events in the series, connecting us to the historical reality. When Steve Railsback auditioned for the role of Charles Manson in Los Angeles, he nailed it. Reading Manson's courtroom speech without a jury, he got the role just three days later. Railsback's convincing portrayal not only earned praise, but also led to offers to play villains, which he turned down, avoiding being typecast. Director Tom Grise's son, John Grise, subtly appears in the series as William Garretson, the groundskeeper at 10,050 Silo Drive on that fateful night. Garretson's survival, unnoticed by the Manson family, adds suspense to the narrative. John Grise, making his debut in Will Penny, showcases the series' careful casting choices and attention to historical details. As we look back at Helter Skelter, it's clear that the series stays true to the Manson family trial. Real courtroom dialogue directly from the transcripts gives viewers a realistic look into the legal proceedings. The passing of key figures like George Dysonzo, who played Bugliosi on the anniversary of the Tate murders, adds a poignant connection to the events depicted. In summary, Helter Skelter's significant influence comes from its gripping story and dedication to historical accuracy. The original Manson family car, Railsback's career choices, and real courtroom dialogue contribute to the series' authenticity, making it a compelling exploration of a dark chapter in American history.